All right, this video is about how to graph amplitude changes with the sine and cosine graphs. All right, to graph an amplitude change, you're going to, um, this is an example problem, and we'll just refer to it as we talk through this. You're going to, first of all, start with the points from the parent function. So what I have here are the points of the parent function of the sine graph. You should be familiar with these, have them on your pink paper, and begin to memorize them. In order to deal with an amplitude change, you're going to multiply the y values in your points by the a value from the equation. Okay? Notice it's not the absolute value of a, it's a, just as it is, positive or negative. A, just as it is, from the equation to generate your new point. Okay? So, for instance, if these are my point, parent function points, this is my equation. A in this equation is a 3. So all I'm going to do is create my new points by multiplying the y value by 3. Well, 0 times 3 is still 0. X values stay the same. Y value, 1 times 3 is 3. Next point, pi, 3 times 0 is still 0. And pi over 2, negative 1 times 3 makes it negative 3. And then 2 pi is the same. 0 times 3 is still 0. So these are the new points I'm going to plot on my graph. Now, you're going to sketch the parent function in pencil today, and I'll do that on the following example. And then you're going to put your new equation in a colored pencil so you can see the amplitude change. All right, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that on the next example. All right, so here we go. Y equals 2 sine of X. All right, look first at your amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the absolute value of A. A is a 2. It's the absolute value of 2 is 2. The period is, remember, it's 2 pi divided by B. In this equation, the B is just a 1. So my period is just still 2 pi. Now, to create those changes created by this amplitude, I look at my parent points from sine. And I've listed them here. Again, you need to get these memorized. So to create my new points, I'm going to multiply the y value by the 2. So it's y times the amplitude. So here's my new points, 0, 0, because 0 times 2 is still 0. Pi over 2, 1 times 2 is 2. Uh, pi is my x, 0 times 2 is still 0. 3 pi over 2, that negative 1 times 2 is going to be negative 2. And then 2 pi, 0 times 2 is still 0. Now I plot them. Now the first thing I'm going to plot is the parent function. So I'm going to do that in um, black. All right, so I'm going to put my points. My x values are 2 pi. There's pi. I have a 2. And 3 pi over 2. My y values are 1 and negative 1. Okay. Now, so when I plot my point, my parent points, there's my parent function. We're going to do this in pencil today. And you're going to take a colored pencil and graph the given equation. So now I've plot these points, 0, 0. And at pi over 2, it's going to come up to 2. At pi, it's still at 0. At 3 pi over 2, it's at negative 2. And at 2 pi, it's back at 0. So when I plot my new points, you will see that the amplitude has been stretched. Okay. Look at this example, one half the cosine of x, all right? Amplitude, remember, is absolute value of a. In this problem, it would be just one half. Period, remember, is 2 pi divided by b. Well, b in this problem is just 1, so my period is still 2 pi. The new points, remember, it's the same for cosine as it is for sine. We're just going to multiply the y values times the amplitude, okay? So in, down here, I've listed your values for cosine, the parent points of cosine. So 0, 1 times 1 half is 1 half. Pi over 2, 0 times 1 half is 0. Negative 1 times 1 half is negative 1 half. 3 pi over 2, 0 times that is 0. And then lastly, 2 pi, 1 times 1 half is 1 half. All right. So again, like before, we're going to put parent function first. You know, it starts at 0, and we're going to end up at 2 pi. There's pi. I expect all these things to be labeled on your graphs as well. Don't get lazy on me. 
and I know it goes from one to another one. Alright, so if I plot my parent function, it looks like this. Here's my parent function. Now, I use a different color for my amplitude change function, all right? So the first point is going to go to 1 half. So it starts here, then it's at 0, then it goes to negative 1 half, to 0, and back to positive 1 half. So you can see it smushed my cosine graph down a smidge. The last example, amplitude. This number A is right here. Amplitude is always the absolute value of that. So it's the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. Period 2 pi divided by B. Well, B is just a 1 here, so it's just 2 pi. That's not changed. All right, here's my parent points for cosine, like we just did. Now we're going to just, again, Y times the A value. Remember, not the absolute value of A, but just A as it is. So 0, that 1 multiplied by negative 3. Pi over 2, 0 times negative 3 is still 0. At pi, negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. 3 pi over 2, 0 times 3, negative 3 is still 0. And then lastly, 2 pi, 1 times negative 3 is back at negative 3. All right, so I'm going to plot the parent function one more time. There's 1, there's negative 1, and my x values. Feel free. Okay, plotting my parent function, there's those points. Now I'm going to graph the new equation with the new color. All right, this one, first point is at negative 3, so I need to put in negative 3. Then at pi over 2, it's at 0. Pi, it's at 3 here. And then 0, and then back to negative 3. So what has it done? It has reflected my cosine graph and stretched the amplitude to a 3. All right, that's what the negative will do. All right, for the whisk, I want you to try one. All right, I've even put the parent function points down here for you to reference, find amplitude, find period, find the new points, and I do want you to sketch it out. Remember, do the parent function first, then the um, uh, transform function here. All right, we'll talk about this in class, and good luck.